Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your HTML emails directly from Figma into your HubSpot account. Uh, and we're going to be doing this by installing a plugin called Emailify. So if you haven't already done so, you can go to the Figma community, search for the word Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab you'll see Emailify pop up. Um, so you just need to click on the install button on the right hand side and then we can jump back into our Figma file. Uh, so to run the plugin, you just right click anywhere, go down to plugins and then click on emailify and that'll run the plugin that we just installed. So I've already got a design that I came up with using the emailify plugin. So if you haven't already done that, uh, we have another tutorial on our YouTube uh, channel that will show you how to design the email using the emailify plugin. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to assume that you've already designed your email and just want to go ahead and export it. Uh, from Figma to HubSpot. Um, so I'm going to do that now by starting to click on the export button. So I'm just going to click on the export button in the plugin header and by default it's going to try to export the emails as an HTML package that are going to get downloaded to your computer. Um, that's normally fine but today we want to get them into HubSpot automatically. So what we have to do is click on this select box and instead of downloading to our computer we want to upload it to a platform and for today's tutorial we're going to use HubSpot. So I'm just going to click on the HubSpot Marketing Hub option and you can see here it's just changed um, this little drop down here to say that it needs the HubSpot API key. Um, so if you click on that link it'll show you how to get that key um, but I'm already logged into HubSpot so I'll show you how to get to it from HubSpot in the browser. So if you log into HubSpot and go to your settings page um, just by clicking the little settings icon up here and you want to go down to integrations. So this is a little drop down. You want to expand integrations and click on API key. And that will load up the HubSpot API key page. Um, so I've, I've already got an API key active. So if you can see that in yours, you just want to click on the show link here. And then prove that you're not a robot, uh, which I'm not, not as far as I know. Um, so that will show the API key for HubSpot. And now that that's revealed, you just want to go ahead and click on the copy link, which will copy it to our clipboard. Okay, so that's just copied our uh, HubSpot API key to the clipboard. So now we can jump back into Figma and in the API key input, we're just going to paste that by uh, pushing Command V on the keyboard or Control V if you're using Windows. So I've just pasted in my HubSpot um, API key down there. Um, the other important thing to know is that um, for the footer, we basically need to include a HubSpot footer for this to be considered a valid email. So um, if you haven't already done so, um, I'll just close this off for one second. And under the footer category for the components, um, you'll see that we've got a HubSpot specific uh, footer template. So if you don't already have one of those and you want to make sure that you've got all the right links and all the right tags in there that HubSpot wants, just go ahead and select your email, go to the footer tab, and then click on the HubSpot um, platform specific footer and that's just going to add that in there. So if we just really quickly open that up, uh, we can see here if we open up the plugin settings, it's automatically added the HubSpot unsubscribe and web links and it's got our company tags which HubSpot also wants uh, when you create emails in HubSpot. Um, so that's just a really quick but important note just to make sure you do have those tags in there otherwise HubSpot um, may not show your template when you go to upload it. Okay so now that we've got our HubSpot footer in there we just want to go back to the export panel by clicking on export again and it's kept my API key in there that we just pasted in. We've got HubSpot Marketing Hub selected so everything's uh, perfect ready to go so all we need to do now is click on the HubSpot uh, upload to HubSpot button so I'm going to click that now this is going to generate all of the HTML for my email automatically. Uh, it's going to export all of the image content. It's going to upload those. And then once that's done, it's going to uh, send that template automatically into HubSpot. So it's confirming that our HubSpot template's been uploaded. And to view it, we just need to log into our HubSpot account. And then it's telling us to click on the marketing menu item. And then, so we'll do that now. So we'll click on marketing, go down to email. And then it's saying to go to the uh, create email button and then click on the regular email type. So I'm just going to do that now. And then if we click on the custom tab up here, 
um, you'll see that our email that we just uploaded is now in HubSpot. Um, so we can preview that by clicking on the preview button. And this is just loading up a HTML uh, preview of the email that we just uploaded. So all the image contents in there, all of the images uh, that we added and uh, that's looking good. So we can see our um, view, view in the browser links in there. We've got everything that we wanted set up. So that's in there now. Um, so that's pretty much good to go. You can now use that as a email. So if I want to call this um, uh, sushi email for the Jiro Sushi restaurant uh, that we've made up. And so now there we go. You can see that we've got our brand new uh, email campaign uh, with the custom template that we just uploaded from Figma into HubSpot. And uh, that's looking really good. So you can send yourself a test email, you can uh, schedule that, send, um, assign it to a list and things like that. But basically that's gonna uh, take the template that we just uploaded from Figma and send that out um, when you're ready to save it. So I'm just gonna save that. I'm not gonna send it out for now. Um, I just want to show you how to upload it. And just as a further step to see where that's actually coming from, what you can do is go down to the uh, marketing menu again, go down to files and templates and then click on the design tools link. So I'm gonna do that now. And you can see here on the left hand side, this is our um, files and folders um, for the design tools, files and folders. Um, you can see that there's a new folder in here called emailify. So that automatically gets created when you upload the template from Figma into HubSpot. And we can see here that there's an HTML file in there. So that, that's actually the HTML file that was just uploaded from Figma uh, into HubSpot just a few moments ago. So that's actually where the file's coming from. And you can see in here, um, it's got a template type of email. So because it's got that tag in the HTML, which the Emailify plugin automatically adds in, um, that's why it's showing up in your email templates. So because it's got that little tag in there um, and it's sitting in this files um, panel, the emails page basically just automatically picks that up as a custom template and that's how it's getting added. So um, you can actually go ahead and make changes to this uh, file if you wanted to. Um, if you really wanted to do it in HubSpot, you can edit the HTML in here after it's been uploaded and that's that's totally fine if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd mention where those files are actually getting sent to in case you wanted to either remove them or clone them or uh, rename them or do anything, create a new email from them, all that sort of good stuff. So. Uh, that's that's really it. That's that's the whole process of exporting the email templates from your Figma designs into HubSpot. Um, it's much quicker than uh, you know manually uploading all the images, manually uh, modifying all the HTML to make sure it's compliant with HubSpot's templating language. They have some strict requirements with uh, the way the template needs to be st structured and and all that sort of stuff. So the plugin, the Emailify plugin, basically injects a bunch of those required tags in automatically. And then, as I said, you basically want to go ahead and add the mail, um, sorry, the HubSpot template, um, the HubSpot footer template that's underneath the footer category in the email uh, components. And that's going to automatically inject those, uh, those links that we really want. Uh, if those aren't in there, HubSpot will get a bit angry and it won't actually let you um, view or send the template. It definitely needs the unsubscribe link and it needs these um, company details as well like your company address and all that sort of stuff so these will actually get dynamically swapped out uh, in hubspot based on the information that you've got in your hubspot accounts profile um, so that's just something to be mindful of so if you are seeing uh, a blank template page there's there's nothing on the template it's possible that you haven't included the hubspot um, footer so just go ahead and click on that and that will just add that in there um, but other than that, that's that's pretty much all you need to know. You've got um, uh, that integration built in now. So as long as you've got your API key, um, that's all you need. You just paste the API key in, select the HubSpot um, item, and then click Upload to HubSpot. And you can upload as many templates uh, as you need to. You can do, uh, if you have multiple frames, this will automatically upload multiple frames as well. So it just speeds up the whole workflow uh, if you are a HubSpot user and uh, want to be integrating this with Figma. So uh, so we'll leave it there for today. It's a fairly uh, brief tutorial just so you can 
go through those steps visually. I know it's a bit tricky to kind of figure out where the API keys are and where the files are getting sent to. So I just wanted to cover that in detail. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all there is to know. So uh, thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one very soon.